So when people ask the question, how is AI machine learning being applied to the insurance industry in order to create differentiation? I actually think the better question is where isn't it being applied or where shouldn't it be applied? If you look at the entire organization, not just from the pricing and underwriting side, but the entire end-to-end -end point of a business, from the reserves to HR, it's being applied and should be applied everywhere. So in terms of your HR, your investment strategy, finance, but particularly within that continuum, better ways of pricing and underwriting, giving your customer a far better price based on the more information you know and how we extract that data, making the customer journey a lot more friendly, being able to trust your customers, pay out on claims faster, use analytics and AI to process vast amounts of data. If you imagine you were in a crash and you could take a picture of an accident you were just in, being able to get a quick payout map because they can estimate the damage that's been done. Alongside that, it ensures trust of that customer, so prevent fraud. Having seen their background behavior when it comes to their policies or their quote behavior, it's being used widely across the boards, not just in terms of locally, but also where companies should be investing in their IT infrastructure what they're doing there from an AI machine learning in terms of where they're putting the reserves for their investments and lots of like what if scenario, their sensitivity to the market, identifying you know their customer segments, being able to cross sell and upsell, being able to process mass amount of data to find out natural language processing or text mining to be able to figure out what the sentiment is of your customers, what they're saying about you to the market as well. So I guess it should be used, you know, within our stream where we focus as well, but the organization shouldn't be afraid of it. I try my hardest to kind of break down the black box conceptuality of AI and machine learning to make it everybody understand exactly what's going on. Conceptually, it's actually very straightforward. It's been happening for about 15 years, except for instead of it being statisticians in the corner or actuaries doing some modeling, it's just being taken out of that and it's being deployed across every part of business.